Okay, hello there Aries. Um, we're going to do your weekly love reading. I'm going to be um, looking at what you got going on. Let's see, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. It's nice to see you. I appreciate all your likes and subscribes. Sending you guys lots of love and abundance and blessings. Um, sending you healing as well. I've got my violet flame candle. Um, oh, working. It's working. It's magic over here. Sending out some lovely healing energy towards you. Lovely. Sending you all that wonderful energy that you might need this week. So, what have we got for Aries, please? In love. What have we got for Aries in love, please? What does Aries need to know right now? Okay, so please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to apply for everyone. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Don't forget, though, guys, to check out your other birth chart placements for more clarity. Okay, so. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I need to start in the middle. We will clarify some of these cards as we go through. Um... I'm seeing a lot of possibilities here. You've got a lot of happiness coming your way. You've got a lot of new opportunities, um, a lot of new beginnings. So you have creation really strongly with you this week, this lovely inspired creation energy. You could be growing something. You could have an idea here for a new business because look, you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Let me just that light on so you can see here we go look at that and all their glory ace of pentacles ace of wands lovely energy so a lot of new um newness around you this week mm, i feel like i need to talk about these two cards here look at this you have page of swords and hermit somebody is watching you but they are quiet they're silently watching i feel like they're wanting to see what you're going to do next so this could be multiple people. It's not necessarily one person, I feel. You could have a lot of people's attention, perhaps here, because people love Aries. They want to know what you guys are up to. They want to know what you're doing. Um, you, I feel like for some of you here, you bring a lot of joy to other people's lives. You bring a lot of positivity, lots of energy, and they just want to be around you. They want to be in your energy. So the best way they can do that is to perhaps you know, watch your social media, um, just kind of be around you, um, you know, stand close to you perhaps, um, kind of bask in your glory. I feel like it's they're hoping that some of that's going to rub off on them <laughs> somehow. Um, so if you don't want that, if you don't want people stealing your energy this week, get, get your crystals out. You got your um, black obsidian, you got your hematite, um, even clear quartz will do it, but obviously you've got your classics like Tiger's Eye as well. Here's Tiger's Eye. What you know, carry them around with you. Smoky quartz as well. Excellent. Someone I uh, just heard that there. I was like, someone's just said that. Someone's just said that. I'm also getting jade for you as well. So any uh yeah, green. They're saying something green, something green. That's going to deflect a lot of energy for you this week because there could be people around you that are maybe jealous. They're seeing you move on. They're seeing you glow up here. They're seeing all this energy that you're putting towards something new. Um, you've got new opportunities, I feel, um, very much for you. Looking after yourself, treating yourself here. Um, yeah, putting some of that energy and effort that you had put into somebody else, you're now putting it on you. So that is excellent. That is excellent. Now, I am going to clarify this hermit because I feel like that could be your energy as well this week. You could feel the need to retreat a little bit, go a bit quiet at some points. Um, but this could also be the person you're dealing with. Clarify the hermit for Aries, please. Clarify the Hermits for Aries, please. All right, we justice. Ooh. And when we get one more, Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh, I feel like we just went a bit magical with this Nine of Swords. So somebody could be um, not able to sleep 
right now this could be for some of you this could be for the person that you have tuned in for here we have justice energy so someone here is feeling like there is an imbalance um could be in the connection i feel like this is someone is feeling hard done by it someone is feeling as though they have definitely they could have lost out or things have not gone their way for them this week um or, or just in the recent past here there is an element here of finding out the truth or finding out about somebody. Finding out about somebody. Oh my gosh. Clarify the... Oh, let's see. I, I feel like I, I was going to clarify, but I feel like I don't need to. Ten of Cups energy. You have this wonderful sense of abundance that is brewing around you right now. You're about to come into a very prosperous time, I feel. I, I kind of get the sense here with a lot of you. You're, you're not interested in love this week, <laughs> um, even though this is a love reading, um, you may not really be feeling it. You just might be thinking, oh, well, you know, it'd be nice to know what's coming. But uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm taking time to work on me. I'm loving me. Um, if someone's not stepping up, I'm just going to step back and be in my own energy. Clarify as Ten of Cups, please, for Aries. Yeah, Two of Wands, look. My gosh. So this one right here, it is actually talking about taking a journey or a trip. You could, well, I mean, there could be some physical distance between you and your person. This could be long distance, but it could also be here um, that you are deciding to take a trip. Could be booking something or just thinking about going somewhere but that's going to bring you this ten of cups energy this happiness okay um mm, okay i just want to <laughs> because i feel like these cards they just they want you to know about you they want you to know about how you're on the verge of something here you are on the verge of prosperity and abundance um <coughs> oh excuse me like a fly went in my mouth or something then just sort of went right in the back of my throat okay i want to see your person please show me aries person please we're kind of hoping there would be new love here um for you this week but it's actually coming out with this sense of self-worth you've got that in abundance here this week um so i don't need to tell you how great you are but it's nice to hear anyway, because you are great. <laughs> um, and just here, you know, this is like, if someone's not seeing your worth, then they're just not seeing it. You can't make it, you can't force it. And that's them, um, you know, justice is often blind. Bear that in mind here. This um, rejection is protection. Okay, show me Aries person, please. What is Aries person currently thinking and feeling about them, please? What is Aries person currently thinking and feeling about them? Okay, they want me to stop there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look. We've got Wheel of Fortune. So we've got a karmic connection here. This person could see you as a soulmate. Again, it's talking about overseas with this card. Um, they could feel like something, like they're seeing that glow up. They feel like you're better off without them, perhaps, or that you are better than them somehow. It could be financially here. Um, that you are somehow, um, could be more successful. Um, but yeah, you've got the Six of Swords with this as well. So yeah, for them, I feel like distance could be a problem. You know, um, they they kind of want to have they could have been overwhelmed here but i feel like they want to they want to go into like a calmer time so if you've had a lot of drama with this person and i feel like this person is actually the drama creator but they could have been spinning it around and putting it on you telling you that it's uh you causing the drama you're doing this you're doing that but it's actually them they're bringing that energy in around themselves um, so, you know, this could be someone who's a little bit narcissistic here. Um, it doesn't mean they are a narcissist. It just means that they're, they're loving themselves a bit too much. Um, right. Nine of Pentacles for you. This is how they see you. Um, kind of, you know, you're good without them. You don't need them. And you don't. Okay. Um, you really don't. <laughs> Let them keep their business. You're doing fine. 
Um, so they, they've kind of got some insight here um, in that regard. Um, what action can Aries expect from their person, please? Oh, yeah, they want me to stop there. <gasps> the lovers, look at that. This person could be facing a choice here. They definitely see you as a soulmate. Look, long-term stability, Hierophant. They see you as someone they can have long-term with. So even though they're seeing currently this, um, that you're kind of better off apart or you're better off without them, like maybe they might feel like they bring you down somehow um, or, the, or they know that they stop you from being your best self, from doing what you want. Mm, I'm hearing the word miserable. So this person could just be a very miserable character, very, um, yeah, I just look down here, miserly. Look, miserly character, someone who is, you know, desperately clinging to everything that they've got um, and uh, they don't want to let anything go. And they kind of feel like, because they're holding on so tight to all of these pentacles here, and they've only got four. Whereas you've got nine in comparison. This person only has four, or they feel like they have four. This is usually a card of a new start, new beginning, someone who is ready to grow. But because they're so whole, busy holding on to what they've got, they don't have anything free. They have no their headspace, they've got no hands free, no feet are free, they cannot move, they're stuck because they're just holding on too tightly. Yeah, I want to just clarify that four of pentacles for you. Um, I feel like I'm getting a bit of a headache as I'm looking at this person's energy because I feel like they're very conflicted. They could be getting a lot of headaches, like tension headaches, where they're overthinking so much here. Yeah, see, Knight of Pent uh, Knight of Cups, even not Pentacles, Knight of Cups. They are. They want to come towards you with this um, declaration. They want to talk to you. They want to express their feelings here. Look, it's love, love, love. Love is all around. Love is all around here. But this person, you see, they they feel like they can't do anything about it right now. They literally cannot. Dear, right there. What are the obstacles here with Aries and their person, please? What are the obstacles? Oh, sorry, they want me to look at the Hierophant as I was asking that card. So it could be you come from different backgrounds here. It could be religious um, or moral beliefs. You might have some... You know, you, you might just not be lining up in that area. Um, because I get the sense of this person, they could be quite traditional in their outlook. You know, they could have quite a fixed idea about their life pathway, like how they thought their life was going to go. Um, and they could have got so far down that pathway and things started to get rocky. Things started to come undone here. And this is why they're now in this energy. They're, they're too undone. They're, it's like they're holding all of these, um, these frayed fabrics. These fabrics are sort of unraveling. And they're trying to hold them all together. So they're really fighting change here. They're really fighting against the, the, the flow, the universe. I feel like the universe put you two together here. With these two cards the lovers and the hierophant the universe this is divinely guided so how so the universe is going to be saying to them like who are you <laughs> to get in the way of this um this higher connection mm. look because the very next card here you have chariots there's overcoming obstacles here so let's have a look what is the chariots for aries person please what is the chariot for Aries person, please? Ah, oh. yeah, they've been juggling. Look at that. This is all about money fluctuations. So this could be exactly what they are overcoming here. They could be, um, they could have been not very good with money. You could have noticed this about them. Um, you know, if this was a person that was saying uh, they didn't have any money, 
like, you know, they could have been saying to you that they weren't stable, they weren't financially um, secure, they weren't abundant, they didn't have this, they didn't have that. But then you could have seen them spending money on stuff that they really didn't need to be spending out on. Um, you know, it could have been as innocent as uh, going out to a bar with friends, um, or they could have been buying new things here. And at the same time, though, they could have been um, using money as an excuse not to be with you. Um, so you kind of feel like it's, it's a double standard. It's a dual standard here. Like, how much is enough? <laughs> if you've got all of this, how much more do you need? How much more? Frivolous is the word I'm getting. So this could be someone who's just not very good with their finance. Oh my gosh. So they wanted me to turn this card over. It is the Ten of Swords. So, yeah. I'm just hearing here crushing dreams. It doesn't actually say that on the card. But to me, as I looked down at it, they just said crushed dreams. So you could have had a lot of um, investment in this person. You could have had a lot of hopes pinned on this connection and they kind of crushed it. They have completely flattened, destroyed it. This is somebody who's feeling ultimate betrayal here. They've realized that this person is not able to um, provide that future, that 10 of cups for, for you. So you're actually choosing here to give it to yourself. You're gonna make your own 10 of cups. That's why um, the reading started off as it did, because I feel like, um, you know, it, it's almost like if money is such a big deal to this person, um, then I'm going to show them how easy it is to get money. <laughs> like you're in warrior mode, I tell you. I feel like you are in warrior mode. <laughs> um, wow, okay. Yeah. I feel like this person, they do want to talk to you. They do want to reach out. We have communication here coming in fast. This is bringing in some hope. These are both cards that kind of have a hopeful energy. And they're both communication. So we've got Page of Wands and we have the Eight of Wands as well. So I feel like you will be hearing from this person again. Um, I'm just going to clarify what they're coming in to say because I kind of feel like you, 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 know, you don't want this person to come back. You, you really don't. I feel like... When you're in this energy here, this mode, this warrior mode, and you feel like you're you're doing really well here, why would you want somebody to come back in and mess it all up? I feel like you are seeing this person as uh, bringing chaos, being the destructor. This person is a destructor. Um, what does Aries person want here with this Ace of Wands, please? Look, yeah, Page of Cups. Like, they're coming in with this offer. This sort of measly love offer here, you know? Oh, oh, I love you, Aries. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and I feel like you're just going to, um, you may not reply to them. Um, you may just stay quiet. I feel like there's a, there's an amount of disbelief here. So I don't think you're expecting this person to come back anyway. Um, but yet at the same time, they have really motivated you here to um, set about your own pathway. They've really motivated you and pushed you in this new direction. So this could be exactly why, you know, talking about spiritually guided, universally guided for your highest, greatest good here, that is what this person's purpose could be here for you, is that they're actually just pushing you onto a new pathway where you are finding success for yourself and you're not willing to share it because you did it all by yourself. You didn't have anybody at your side. You had, I feel like there's nobody here that's really uh, believing in you, or you don't feel like you have that support from people, but then also while you're Aries, you don't need support from people. Um, you know, you're, you're the person that stands at the front and leads the charge here. So this person, they could be seeing, you know, what you're doing here and just thinking, oh, you know, maybe, maybe I should have said something. Maybe maybe I should have. I feel like they're worried that you're in this turn of sort. I feel like they're worried about that. They, I feel like that actually, um, that upsets them. Um, or they're just worried about it. 
They could be nervous about what you might do or what you might say. Mm, clarify this page of wands, please. Clarify this page of wands for Aries person, please. Oh my gosh, Mimi went everywhere. Yeah, broken hearts, look at this. Um, they could just be letting you know here how heartbroken they are. They might want to tell you, they might want you to know, but I feel like you don't care anymore. <laughs> good for you, good for you. I feel like this person has had chances and opportunities in the past and um, they haven't taken any of them. And I feel like for you guys, you've been very patient with this person. Like you've shown them a lot of patience. You've shown them a lot of love here with this Queen of Cups. You have shown them, um, you know, your, your caring, nurturing side. And for Aries, that's not actually, that's not always an easy thing to do is to show your vulnerabilities, you know? Um, sorry, I'm just, it's like someone's giving me a cup of coffee here. I'm smelling coffee. I can feel the coffee cup. Someone is either watching this, having their coffee, or um, this is this is uh, a really big coffee drinker. Okay, could be you, could be your person. One more card, please, for the page of wands. One more card for page of wands, please. Three of pentacles. Oh my gosh, was this a third party? We've got two threes here, look. Three is um, spiritual number. It is that perfect balance between past, present, future. Um, this reality and um, the reality before us and the reality still to come. So past, present, future again. But it's literally, it's like the higher realities, the, the lower vibrational energies and the present. The three is the number that links that represents all of those. So your numbers this week are definitely three. It's the number three. Um, now, this person, they could be coming in to let you know that maybe they're ready. Um, they've got, they can see improvements or they've changed somehow. Um, I feel like you've actually had a bigger impact on them than you realize here. But because you're just not bothered and you don't care what's going on with this person currently, uh, you're not going to feel that. You're not going to feel it at all. Um, sorry, this is, I'm really interested now. I want to know what else. Um, what else does Aries need to know about their person, please? What does Aries need to know about their person? Oh, yeah, we're stopping. Oh my gosh, look. So you've got the tower on the bottom. They wanted me to just look at that, show that to you. So yeah, this was a real disaster here. Yeah, this is chaos. Uh, this is drama. Yeah, two of swords, could be twin flame energy here. But this person, they are currently making a choice. They are making a choice here with this two of swords. Ace of cups, oh my gosh, look. They're trying, I feel like they wanna offer you something new here. They wanna offer you love. <laughs> ah, this could be a friendship that went sour. With this um, five of cups here. I feel like I, you or this person. It's like you're constantly getting disappointed with one another. I feel like you could be going around in circles. <laughs> Let's see what this two of swords is. Clarify this two of swords please. Clarify this. Oh my gosh sorry. They, they just want to say here. I feel like this person is, is disappointed right now. They are feeling that sorrow. I feel like they are. They could be in regret here with that five of cups because they know they have lost love here they've lost their one true love yeah clarify that two of swords for aries person yeah look regret bitter this person i feel like they they could have been in a dark space and i feel like this whole situation has just pushed them further into that dark space like they need to really have a tower here they need to have that Tower moments are good for people. Yeah, look, anxiety. So we've got nine of swords again. Um, this is very much a wake up call, I feel, um, for this person. They, they have changed you for the positive because they're, they're making you kind of work on yourself here, work on your stuff, um, find your own happiness. And what you have done here, although it sounds horrible, 
but you have kind of forced them in you know to reevaluate um their situation you know their choices and you know what they then choose to do that's entirely up to them you know how they then you know wish to behave because I feel like this could be all around the behavior, but this is anxiety, stress, worry. We've got it twice here. It's also the side, the, the card of seeing things clearly. You have this all seeing eye at the top here. And it's just looking around on all this dark conflict energy that's all around this person. And they're getting some wisdom, some insight here into their behavior. Wow. But yeah, Aries, you keep on doing what you're doing. Um, you know, stay in your energy, stay focused on you. Um, and um, we'll take a look at your read again next week and we'll see uh, see what's going on. <laughs> see, see how things are shaping up. <laughs> um, okay, um, I will uh, thank you so much for your likes and shares and subscribes. You're wonderful. I love you. I really appreciate it. Um, and um, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.